Welcome to Simplified Learning and today we are going to talk about activated sludge process in wastewater engineering. See, the activated sludge process is a key method used in wastewater treatment to remove contaminants. Now let's try to break it down into multiple parts for better understanding. Let's first see what wastewater treatment is. See, wastewater treatment is the process of removing pollutant from water that has been used in home, industries and businesses. The goal is to produce water clean enough to be returned to the environment or to be reused. Let's see what activated sludge is. See, activated sludge is a mixture of wastewater and microorganisms. This microorganism, that is bacteria, protozoa and other microorganisms may be there. They consume organic pollutants in wastewater, breaking them down into simpler substances. Now let's see the overview of activated sludge process. There are several steps that are included in activated sludge which are Pre-treatment is there, then primary treatment will be there, then secondary treatment which is activated sludge process itself, then final treatment is there which may be tertiary treatment and sludge treatment. Now let's first say pre-treatment. Before the activated sludge process begins, wastewater undergoes pre-treatment to remove large object and settleable solids. This step typically includes screening, grit removal and pre-sedimentation. In screening, we will be removing large objects such as sticks, rags and plastic. In grit removal, we will be removing sand, gravel and other heavy particles. And in pre-sedimentation, we allow the larger solids to settle out. Now, let's see what primary treatment is. In primary treatment, the wastewater is allowed to sit in large tanks called as primary clarifers. Here, the heavier solids settle to the bottom, forming sludge and lighter materials to float to the top and are skimmed off. Then let's see what secondary treatment is, which is the actual activated sludge process. This is the core of the activated sludge process and it includes several stages. First one, aeration tank. The partially treated wastewater from primary treatment enters an aeration tank. Then aeration takes place. Air or oxygen is pumped into the tank to provide oxygen for the microorganism. Then the role of microorganism comes. The microorganism in activated sludge consume the organic matter or pollutants in the wastewater, converting it into carbon dioxide, water and more microorganisms. Then in settling tank which is secondary clarifier, separation takes place. After aeration, the mixture flows into a secondary clarifier. Then the activated sludge settles to the bottom, separating from the treated water. Then return sludge. Some of the settled sludge is returned to the aeration tank to maintain the population of microorganisms. Then waste sludge. The excess sludge or the waste activated sludge is removed for further treatment. Then in the final treatment, the treated water from the secondary clarifier may undergo additional treatment to remove any remaining contaminant, which includes filtration process, disinfection process and nutrient removal. Finally, we come toward the sludge treatment, which may be thickening, digestion, dewatering or disposal or reuse of the sludge. Then let's see the benefits of activated sludge process. First one, effective pollution control or effective pollution removal. Efficiently removes organic pollutants, then it is flexible, which can be adapted to various types of wastewater. Then scalability, it is suitable for small to large treatment plants. Then let's see the challenges. It is energy intensive. It requires significantly more energy for aeration processes. Then sludge management. It produces large amount of sludge that needs further treatment. Then operation complexity. This process requires careful monitoring and control of microorganisms. Now let's come toward the conclusion of this talk. The activated sludge process is a vital component of modern wastewater treatment enabling the removal of harmful pollutant and the protection of environmental and public health. Understanding this process helps appreciate the intricate and essential work that goes into treating the water that we use every day. So that's it for the podcast and we will see the next topic in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.